So in a standard rope access setup, a technician will access via two ropes. Uh, both of them will be on known rated anchors, so we'll know exactly how strong these connection points are. And primarily, they're going to be having one line for ascent and descent, and the second line will be used as a backup system in case the primary line were to fail. So in this case, technician will apply his backup device onto the backup line. This is designed to keep any potential fall to within two feet. And if the technician is going to ascend, he would then utilize a chest ascender. As well as a hand ascender. So with this setup, as I'm ascending up the line, if anything were to happen on the primary line, I would be caught by my backup. The one drawback to that, though, is if I'm now hanging on this backup and my primary has been compromised, I will have to have another way of escaping from the system. Uh, I do have the ability for self-rescue, uh, or there would be the potential for a pickoff rescue, especially if I'm still actively engaged onto my ascent system. In that case, a pickoff rescue is going to be uh, the pr predominant method of rescue. So this is very functional for going up, and it can also work for going down. When descending, the technician will use a two-person load-rated device, a mechanical device. So this will allow for smooth movement on the way down. It has known ratings for one person as, as well as two person. And it'll work by engaging the handle and working the trailing end of the rope, the break end, uh, with the other hand. As I'm doing this, I will also be dragging my backup device with me. So as I'm coming down, I'm working both pieces. So if anything were to happen to my primary system here, I would then be caught by my backup system, again, limiting, limiting the fall to less than two feet. But again, in this situation, if something did happen to my primary and I were hanging on my backup, I would need another form of rescue to get off of this backup line. My ability to self-rescue is, is limited. So these twin rope systems that rope access technicians have been using have a very proven safety record. They've proven that by limiting the fall to less than two feet, and because you're climbing statically, predominantly, you're limiting almost any fall throughout all the climbing and maneuvers you're doing. When we were looking at the ARB systems, moving to a two rope ARB system here, instead of having a primary and a backup, in this case, I actually have two primary systems. And that does give me some advantages because as I'm ascending and descending, If anything were to happen to either one of my primary systems, I would then be backed up by a second primary. So self-rescue in that case would be extremely easy, and it gives, gives me the ability to always be in a static setup. So you're even limiting to less than a two-foot fall in this case.